Um, it's the big news story of the day. The ANC MP Bongani Bongo speaking exclusively with ENCA tonight to deny those allegations that he's corrupt and tried to bribe an advocate. News of Bongo's arrest broke this morning and hours later he was released on bail of 5,000 rand. Bongo is accused of interfering in a parliamentary inquiry into state capture at ESCOM and we will bring you more on his exclusive interview with our political reporter Samkele Maseko. That's in just a few minutes but first Bongo was not the only person arrested by the Hawks for alleged corruption today. They also rounded up about 10 people in the Amatole municipality, that's in the Eastern Cape, over a toilet const construction scandal that apparently paid out over 200 million rand. That's how much has already been paid out to these people who've been arrested allegedly. Hangwani Malaudzi is Hawks spokesperson. He's joining me via Skype tonight from Pretoria. Hangwani, a very good evening to you. It's been a rather busy day, as I was saying, for your officers. So how many people have been arrested in connection with these cases? altogether. We have arrested about 11 suspects uh, on two different cases. Um, one would be the former minister of the SSA uh, who was arrested in uh, Cape Town and uh, we had another 10 suspects that were arrested uh, in a soup um, in four provinces. That is the um, Kauteng, Pumalanga, KwaZulu Natal, as well as in the Eastern Cape. Um, so it shows, you know, our um, seriousness when it comes to issues of corruption in this country. Uh, there's a lot of cases that we have been investigating, and now we are seeing the light in terms of taking these suspects to court. And the arrests, of course, are always appreciated, Hangwani, especially in a country where so many people are fed up with the levels of alleged corruption, especially in the state and among the big corporates. But when it comes to an issue as big as the Bongo matter, given the concerns that people also have about the ability to see cases through to conviction, are you as the Hawks convinced that you have enough evidence to see this case through to its end? Well, I don't think we'll be wasting uh, any um, state monies, you know, uh, by not having a strong case. Uh, I think it will also be a disservice to the people of this country, uh, the disservice to the people of, I mean, the institutions like the NPA, if we do not have a strong case. So I think um, those um, sentiments, yes, they can be shared amongst people, but I think from our own point of view, we are the only uh, authority or authority uh, that knows that uh, bringing a case to court means that uh, you have enough evidence. So Bongani Pongo is out then tonight on bail of 5,000 rand. One of the conditions is that he not be in contact with any of the witnesses in this matter without, of course, perhaps revealing their identities. Do you have evidence in the form of witnesses or are you re relying more on documents and data and that sort of thing? No, of, of course, when you go to court, you must have witnesses. So we do have those witnesses that are going to um, partake or they're going to assist us in this uh, in this case. Uh, there are documents that, uh, of course, that will also be served or will be used as part of parcel of uh, as part of evidence uh, in, in our case. So it's it's a normal case, you know. Let's not try and make it like as if it's something that is out. Um, uh, you know, from out of space, it's 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 a normal case, and there's the the due process is that like any normal case that it will be followed. Those are the that that is what we're going to follow. Okay, let's talk about the other high-profile arrests that you've made today. You've arrested about ten people. That's in the Eastern Cape to do with the multi-million rand toilet construction deal in the Amatole municipality. They are due to appear in court tomorrow, Friday. When? Are you able to give us, in fact, tonight an idea of the profiles of the people who've been arrested, obviously without revealing their identities, but is it more government officials, is it politicians, business people? Well, it's mostly government officials and business people uh, that we believe that they have been colluding in this uh, tender process. Um, you rightfully put it that there was about 600 million that was earmarked for this tender. 260 million was already dispensed and based on the investigations we managed to find that there is a lot that uh, was done that was done under uh, underlying you know uh, there was a lot of corruption that was uh, being uh, committed and hence you would see with the charge sheet itself uh, it's not only corruption that we're looking at we're looking at issues of fraud we're looking at issues of money laundering so this is a very strong case and I think the team from Eastern Cape has to be congratulated for the job well done. 
Hangwani Malaud, the spokesperson for the Hawks, will continue to track that story as those 10 suspects make their way to court on Friday morning.